community, my name is Pam and thanks for tuning into this channel. If you're new here guys, welcome. Today you guys, it's about giving you an update for my plant haul number six. So if you guys haven't had a chance to check that video out, please do so. Pause this one and check it out and come along and watch me um, share some new acquired plants in my collection. But I'm going to get right into it, you guys. This is just basically just giving you an update. I've had um, these plants for a, about a month or so in my collection now at this point. I just want to let you know where I am with it. So I'm going to start off with um, my Alocasia um, Dragon Scale. Um, I'll probably post a little clip of me actually showing you guys uh, me unraveling it or displaying it for you guys. So where is this plant now, you guys? This plant is R.I.P. Yes, R.I.P. And if you guys been watching me for some time, y'all know that I'm all about full disclosure transparency. And I killed this plant and it's completely my fault. Um, I do a lot of, once again, like I said, if you've been watching me for some time, you know I always talk about um, taking risks and doing experimentation. And so what I've been doing lately, I've been dipping my toe a little bit into the Leco world just to see um, comparisons more or less, to see which is better, Soul versus Leca, um, with some of the, these plants in my collection. And I tried it with the Alocasia um, Dragon Scale, and my mindset, you guys, really was because I knew that that plant would need um, to be monitored in regards to the moisture level as well as humidity. So I was just thinking that it might be a perfect fit for um, doing it in Leca hydroponics, but it just did not tend to pan out for me. You know, I was leave, losing leaves left and right until the plant just finally eventually just completely caved in. So lesson learned for me. Um, I do plan on getting this plant. I was a little disappointed because I had high hopes and anticipated great growth out of the plant, um, but it, that just wasn't the case. So I've learned my lesson not to put at least the, that particular um, alocasia in hydroponics. I'm not even sure if I would do any right now until I um, gain some more knowledge in regards to that. But yeah, so I'll be on the lookout for that plan again, and I hope, keep my fingers crossed, I hope that I'll find it. Um, so my next plant, you guys, um, I'm going to show you a photo around here, and the reason why, actually I'm going to show photos of my next two plants that I'm about to show you, um, because it'll just be too much of a headache trying to take it down and show you guys. Um, so the first one is actually going to be this Peperomia scandens, or aka the Cupid Peperomia. Um, as you can see, you guys, I have this plant hanging in my bedroom, and it's, um, I don't know what direction that window is in, but it's not, it's only getting, um, morning light and some dappled, um, afternoon light, and it tends to love it, and I love the way that it looks, it's like stretching out, it really gives me that jungly vibe, um, and it's growing pretty wild, and I, I, I love it, the leaves are beautiful, um, nice and succulent, and has this uh, beautiful sheen to the leaves. So I'm really appreciating this plant in my collection and I'm glad that I have it. Um, my next one, you guys, um, will be this beautiful neon pothos that I've acquired, um, that I happened to run into, I think either at Lowe's or Home Depot, I can't remember uh, which one it was at, but as you can see, you guys, it's still full, it's still lush. Um, it hasn't been doing a whole bunch of vigorous growing, and that's because, as you can see, guys, it's, it's in my bedroom, and if you watch my video where I showed um, me creating that trellis um, of how I wanted to have both plants merge, I'm only able, so far, just get a little bit of gr extra growth out of it where I'm able to put it on the trellis now at this point. Um, so, um, it's, it's still full, you know, I'm, I'm not complaining the fact that it's not growing as vigorously. I'm quite sure if I was to give this plant more light, um, it probably would have really taken off, but I'm comfortable with the position of the plant. Like I said, it, it, it's not finicky at all. It likes the location that I do have it in. It's not pressed up against the window or anything, but it is receiving some nice, bright, indirect light. Um, and I'm glad to have that one as part of my collection as well. Now, my next one, you guys, um, let's see. 
Uh, oh, I'm gonna share um, this blue cactus that I have. Let me pick it up. The one in the middle, this thing right here, is is as one of my subscribers put it, dangerously gorgeous, and it really is. Um, one thing I did do differently is I put some white rocks, kind of like over the top to like make it pop even more. Um, I really love this look, the design, the way I put these cactus together because I knew that, um, you know, cactuses, they take an extremely long time before they even take off and start growing. And it just looks so beautiful to me in this display. I don't know. But you can put it in the corner and forget about it. And I have this sitting actually in my window seal in my kitchen where it's getting um, very bright and direct light. And it loves it very much. Um, you know, only water every once in a while. Um, I'm not watering it a lot at all because I have it also in this glazed pot. Um, it does have a drainage hole, but you know, I'll be mindful of the watering. Um, and it hasn't been giving me any problems, which is one of the best plants you can actually get is this cacti. Now my next one, you guys, oops, okay, is my, I'm picking it up, you guys, I'm sorry. I have plants on the floor and I don't want to mess what I have. So my next one is this Pothos Enjoy that I got. I want to say I got this from Lowe's and came in the little hanging pot. Um, as you can see, you guys, it's, this one is also another plant that I have in my bedroom. Um, and as you can see from the side, because I have this part like up against like my wall. So if you can see, it is reaching for the light. Um, it hasn't been out of my... Um, between my pothos, um, enjoy, between this one, the enjoy, my pearls and jade, as well as my manjula, for me and my collection, so far this one tends to be the slowest of the growth of all three. Um, and I'm not quite sure, maybe it's, it's getting light because it's beside a window where it's getting um, bright indirect light that's coming from the side. Um, but still beautiful nonetheless and it's starting to do a little bit of growth it just hasn't been fast growing for me but it's okay because I really do love the plant I love the variegation in the plant it hasn't been very uh, hard growing this plant is communicative letting me you know when it needs water because the leaves will feel a little thin these leaves feel a little are a little thicker now um, so it's letting me know right now currently it's very well watered, but I love having this in my collection and I couldn't beat it in this pot. I just think it's kind of cute, a little funky, um, but I love it. Now you guys, my last plant, which I can say out of all the ones that I just showed you guys have rewarded me with the most growth and that is my Peperomia Prostrata at that you guys now if you did actually have a chance to watch me um show you guys this plant hole uh number six on my video you would see when i first got this plant it was barely trailing and now look at all these trails you guys it's beautiful now these i'm not quite sure if the camera is picking it up but you see these uh this is flowered a lot but you know what you guys what i did do and i did notice a significant change usually with my other plants when I cut off the blooms I really be honest with you don't see that much of a difference as far as the plant putting out more energy to make it grow but this one had a whole lot of um, these little insignificant blooms very delicate and I had decided to actually cut and I cut the majority of them off and I tell you guys as soon as I did that it just took off with the trails it really did it took off with all the trails. I mean, just look at it. And it's still full at the top. I have it hanging in here in my sunroom. Um, it's at my southeast facing window. Southwest. Hmm. I'm starting to lose the direction of these windows in this room. But nonetheless, it's getting some very bright and direct light. Um, and it tends to love it. I don't water this plant until when it's absolutely dry. 
Um, I haven't had any issues so far, and I'm, I'm really happy because I did. I do know that this plant, or I heard this plant, can be finicky um, or, or give people challenges. So far, so good. Um, knocking on, not really wood, but knocking on something. Uh, I hope that um, that this plant continues to thrive. And I think it's also because maybe because I have a humidifier in here and I do have it, even though it's set between a 40% to 45% range, um, I don't go up any higher than that. And then also too, it can, even without the humidifier on, once I close um, my doors in here, it can, the humidity can really rise. And so I'm not quite sure if that's the reason why it's thriving because I do know that this plant do prefer um, a little bit of high humidity. And it's growing these little clover things, or I don't know what they are called. I call them clovers, but they're, I don't even know if you can see it. But I just think, like, I just think they're kind of cute. And it adds a bit of character um, to the plant. But yeah, I'm very excited. I can't wait to see if it continues to trail. And I hope that I will be able to keep this plant alive long enough in my collection. So that pretty much wraps up this video, you guys. I wanted to start off a little bit. If you see, I had a pattern. Um, start off with the tragedy and end up with the greatness. But um, thanks for coming along, you guys. And keep in mind, if you love foliage as much as I do and you love listening to planting things, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up, please, or thumbs down. Um, any way you want to vote is all right with me. Enjoy your day wherever you are in the world, you guys. And until next time, much love. Bye.